All right, what's going on? It's Bobby Skinner here with another draft breakdown. Today, I want to go through wide receiver out of the University of Florida, Kadarius Toney. Um, he's been a high riser. I mean, he had a good senior bowl week. I actually got some senior bowl clips from one-on-ones. One-on-ones we'll go through. He's 5'11", 189 pounds. His senior season at Florida, he had 70 catches, 984 yards, 10 touchdowns, which is 14.1 yards per catch. On the ground, he had 19 carries, 161 yards, one touchdown, 8.5 yards per carry. Uh, he, he didn't get a ton of action for Florida before that. He was kind of used as a, as a gadget player. Um, and by the way, please make sure to like and subscribe. I mean, like I said, I'm going to be pumping out as many of these as I possibly can while also taking my time and, and doing them well. So, Tony, what he's known for is his speed and his ability with the ball in his hands after the catch. That's who Kadarius Tony is. He's a he's a burner who, when he has a ball in his hands, can juke the life out of people and and really have the, that big play ability um, through the air, you know, through the you know the the balls that are thrown over the top, or you know you put him on a smoke screen and he you know makes a couple guys miss. Uh, his route running is based off speed, so it's. Not clunky is the wrong word because clunky sounds like you know some big six four four wide receiver rounding out his routes, but it's it's really jukey. Like it's a lot of like body fakes, head fakes, um, which isn't a bad thing. But it's it's based off of speed. But with that, his double moves can leave him wide ass open. Um, and then uh, and he's actually able to like get up and snag the ball a little bit too. You know, which is you know someone for you know at five foot eleven you. You want to think he, he's a guy that does it. But I just want to run through some of these senior bowl clips and one-on-ones because, I mean, he, he was just making guys look silly. I mean, here on this one, I, I couldn't get the beginning part of it. Just breaks him down. I mean, that guy's worried. They're worried about his speed. They were constantly worried about his speed in one-on-ones. See what I mean? What, the, what do they mean about the double moves? And then hits the corner, and he missed him. And then people got mad at him for he had this drop. He had three drops and 150 targets at Florida. I don't know what percentage is on on casual passes, but that's that. Here he is against his teammate from Florida, Sean Davis. Just speed out. I mean, Davis even has his hips pointed the right way for it. Then another, just a crosser, wide open. I mean, it's just, you know, there's nothing crazy about those routes or anything. It's just showing off his speed. So I want to start, uh, you know, with this video showing off his speed. Here he is in the SEC Championship versus Alabama. You got him right here. And listen, I don't need to break this down for you. I'm just gonna show you how fast this guy is. Just gonna get an outside release. He's got, you know. Seven yards of cushion, and just burns him, burns him. Like I said, there's there's nothing for me to break down on this play. Just burns. I guess I could show you. Good catch over the shoulder. Here we got him here down here in the slot. He's gonna get up the seams. Nice catch. I don't know if it's on purpose, but that little little move right there, you see, gets him to open up his hips. You got the safety over the middle. This looks like a man match uh, scheme by the defense. Trask is able to get that ball in there. He's able to make that catch. He's able to make that catch. So again, just showing just showing off the speed that he's able to split it between. Between the corner and the, and the safety help. Um, on this one, you'll just see him split the zone with his speed. Like you got this guy who's designated to be in zone right here and, and, to, and to follow here and the safety. And he just kills him with the speed. <laughs> Again, same play. I mean, just watch the safety and watch Tony. Touchdown. Speed kills. We got him down here again. So 
So this one you have the um, them them switching responsibility. So he's bailing, but he just has he has no chance for that that Tony speed. Again, good catch over the shoulder. Touchdown for the Gator. So good stuff. And then here, besides just him running uh, in, in straight lines, just on the speed out. You got the guy playing off coverage. Bam. I mean, that's that's a beautiful. That's beautiful. You set him up with that inside release. And, you know, he got, he's got his hips turned this way. I mean, that's a ton of separation. If that ball gets goes his way, that ball's thrown out here, you know, right here for him, That that's six. That's six points. Let's go through some of the, the, the route running. So we got him down here. And they got him in bracket coverage, which is basically a double team. Bracket coverage, so, you know, one guy's hips are facing this way. The other guy's hips are facing this way. And just gets on that break. Starts the break at the 42. Rounds it out at the 45. Just that speed. And that's that's certain too, you know. That's a good corner. And brackets coverage. And it's wide open. Ball doesn't come that way. We got him lined up in the backfield here. Put him on a wheel route. Bam. He's one of those guys where he's just like, once you open up your hips, he's going the other way. So that's what I'm talking about. Like his his double moves are, are what kills you. So you got this guy set up running like it's going to be some kind of speed out. And as soon as, soon as those hips are exposed, bam, upfield. Same play. Let's see the catch. Good catch. Tries to get in. Um, next play, we got him down here. Just the comeback route. So his he's not like the you know the craziest route runner, but you could put him. You could use the whole route tree with him just because of his speed. So again, his hips are facing this way, trying to trying to make sure he doesn't get burned for on a go ball. So again, his like I said, we're, he's not like the greatest route runner, but his speed sets up these routes. To where if this ball comes out and is thrown right here, which is you know where it should be, um, you know Trask makes a good throw over here, I guess, or no, he takes a sack. And then here with a, a slant, a slant, which you know, these are these are plays that get six points. Now this is a draw. But if you you know if you have a back in the field and, and show this. You know, show some type of run. You bring this safety down. Well, now you got yourself a Kadarius Tony touchdown. I mean, a good release off the ball. You know, it's, it's Juki. Gets out without getting any hands on him, and then and he's. I mean, that's a touchdown. That's a touch. If if this is a if this is you know meant to be a throw, that's a touchdown for Kadarius Tony. That's a touchdown for him. Here we got him on a dig route. Again, feel for it. As soon as as soon as he's got that advantage over over thirteen, bam, and he's open. I mean, you have the safety coming down, but it, as far as like a one on one route right there, bam, you get yourself an open Kadarius Tony. This next play, um, okay. So I said he could. He's got the ability to go up there and leap. Just let me just just watch. Now this, I don't know if this ends up being a catch. You know, like this definitely isn't an NFL catch, or maybe it is. Now that I'm looking back at it, no, it isn't. Never mind. I was right because that right foot never comes down. But this is, you know, he's five foot eleven, so he's not tiny. You know, he's not like a five, one of those five foot eight like scat receivers, scat backs. But that, I mean, that's good. That's good leap right there. And again, he doesn't come down with it. But I don't want to focus on that. I want to focus on his ability to leap. 
and you know, I was watching him in the Senior Bowl, even just working on that stuff and 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 individual reps. You know, not even going against the DB, he showed that ability, like to go up and get the ball. So I mean, that's something where, you know, a lot of times these five foot ten, five foot eleven speedsters, they don't have that ability at all. Tony's one of those guys that does, man, and. And honestly, like he's gonna get better and better. You know, his senior year is obviously when he, he made the jump and started getting those more of those reps. Again, got an out route. Bam. Even uses his hands a little bit. But he's, he's, you can just tell in his route running, what he's looking for is open up your hips. Oh, your hips are open up. Bam. Bam. I'm open, dude. I'm open. I mean, you see, I mean, you've seen it. It's been a theme. Da, 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 da. Hips are open. I'm gone. Out. Out route. And his speed sets him up for that. So that's what I'm talking about, where his speed sets up his route running. That's his speed setting himself up for that. This I love, man. This is how you get these big plays in the NFL. Because sometimes you, you see these big plays and you say, oh, that's that's not going to happen in the NFL they're level. They're going to shut that down. Well, you got two high safeties here. And this happens when you run this these two high safety looks in the NFL. So you got man, man coverage with the two high safeties. So he shows, you know, a, a post, skinny post. Bam. And then gets this safety baited down to like cover this. And now it's over. Now you now it's over. You call this a Paco post corner. I mean, this this is this is how you get those big plays in the NFL. You know, I, I one of my things I've always said is I think the biggest thing difference between the NFL and college is the NFL shuts down center field. This is how you hit center field in the NFL, though. Now this ball ends up getting intercepted because Trask throws a bad ball. But I mean, so like I said, I, he's not the crispest route runner, but I think he's actually kind of smart in the way he runs his routes. He knows when to make those breaks. And then the ball gets intercepted. Um, and then here we just got a crosser versus zone. Just in this one, I wanted to just point out, nothing special. But he, you know, sometimes these speedsters, they outrun these routes. He realized, hey, I, I need to slow down on this a little bit. Bam. Gets down to the one yard line. I'm sure the Gators pushed it in. And then I want to focus on some um, yak stuff, you know, getting the ball on some screen passes or from the backfield. So again, I'm down here, right here. And what you'll notice with Tony is, and sometimes I, I kind of want him to do it. I want to just like, hey, get out on the get out on the perimeter and go. But he likes to cut it in. Like, that's what I've noticed about Tony on these plays. And that's where you can see, like, you know, I've, I've seen a Dante Hall. Um, Comparison, I you know, returner wise, I would love that. Receiver wise, Hall left some some there to be desired. But I, I kind of would like him to get out on the edge on this some on this. But he does get yards out of it, you know. So sometimes those guys they get on the out on the edge and they only get two yards when they could have gotten themselves an eight nine yards like they do here. Here, this one's beautiful. You got him motioning in as the running back. I mean, his speed, you see everyone just flowing this way. Just flowing, everyone flowing this way. I mean, he's going this way, he's going this way, he's going, you know, they're all going that way, but like selling out that way. Puts the brakes on, and just the way he cuts on this, cuts on a dime on this. He would have get through. Now, the NFL defensive ends may make this play right here. But that cut on the dime ability right there, that 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 works in the NFL. And this is more just like highlights than really anything here. Uh, here I actually did think, you know, he did the opposite where he tried to get out on the edge. So this is where, you know, the people would say, ah, go get the yards you can get. Because, I mean, right here he's got yards. He's got yards. And, and he might just have one guy to beat on this. You know, with with this player right here, but he he goes to get out on the edge, so that's that's I guess that's what happens. And then here we got a, a, another smoke smoke screen. Just patient, patient. Like that turns into a big play. Most guys that that <laughs> most guys don't let that turn into a big play. Like you got two blockers, three guys, and granted, you know. 
You get a good block out there on the edge. And this guy just gets tossed. So you get blocks out there, you know, Grimes and, and this guy get a good block on there. But he doesn't just go. Like, if he just goes, this guy's scraping over, probably making that tackle. But he's patient. Bam! Go, 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 go. And his... Did that ref throw a penalty? He looked kind of violent with that. Oh, what's the penalty? They, oh, he called holding on their wide on their wide receiver block, and I don't. Oh, sorry, went to the beginning. Come on, ref, you can't call holding on that. Come on, referee. Let's watch the ref up here. Let's watch. Well, let's watch this throw by the ref. <sighs> How many yards did he get that? He's thrown from the goal line. We're landing. Ah, oh, I, I clipped it. I clipped it. That's a good 15-yard, 20-yard toss by the ref. And then he's getting out of dodge because he feels like he's going to get laid out because of that bad call. Uh, so, hey, if you like the videos, there's going to be plenty more. Um, and you can go through the – I'm putting these all on a playlist. So, if you if you want to bench them, check it out. We'll start getting to some of the, the, the top 15 prospects. I think what I'm going to do – is once I finish some senior bowl stuff, I'm gonna gonna just go through. Hey, what are the markets besides QBs? I'm not gonna do QBs, um, and go through go through the top 15 and get those out there for people to see. So if you like these things, like, subscribe, appreciate you, and uh, we'll we'll see you next time.